Hi, I'm the Reverend Ian M. Thomas. Um, today I'm starting something new that is the public reading of the scriptures. It's public in the sense that I'm going to read out loud um, online and each session is going to be a whole book of the Bible. Now, let me ask you, have you ever watched a film? How long is that film? Have you ever watched like I do, Formula One? What was that, what, two, three hours? Or American football, I love American football. Four hour long programs, <laughs> well, that's, well, that's something, isn't it? Then you are able to read a whole book of the Bible in that time, time perhaps with five exceptions, just five, and that's Genesis, Psalms, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. Most books, and I really do mean most, that's 40 out of the 66 can be read in less than half an hour. 40 in less than half an hour. Now, what's the five exceptions, which I've mentioned already, well, can take between four and five hours a piece. There are quite a number that can actually be read in two minutes each. You can read a whole book in two minutes. Really, we are without excuse, especially in these binge TV watching days. Um, you can read the whole of the New Testament in a day. That's something as well. I bet you didn't realise that. So how did I come to this decision? Well, it was from reading the scriptures. First Timothy 4.13 says, uh, Devote yourself to the public reading of scripture. See, on its own, it has a benefit because faith comes by hearing. And then, of course, uh, the... Uh, the passage which uh, forms the basis of my ministry, which is 2 Timothy 4 2, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. And then uh, one of the main verses that I come back to time and time again that I love to preach on, uh, and which also forms a foundation in my life, and it ought to in all of our lives, is Colossians 3 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Of course, that reminds us of Psalm 1. Those who meditate upon the word day and night are like that fruitful tree. So join me as part of my devotional. Make it part of your devotional as I read through the scriptures. And my first book that I will read will be 1 Timothy. Uh, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell, you'll be notified each time I go live. I'm thinking maybe I'll start at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's a little bit difficult because, you know, as I said, time of the books uh, between 2 minutes and 5 hours each. You, you might uh, just blink and I'm gone already. Uh, so uh, you can find me on uh, all the social media accounts just by searching Rev Ian M. Thomas. Join me if you can.